so if you're not subscribed to this channel please know now that i have premium content if you check my other diys you will know that i definitely definitely have premium content on this channel i mean like there's like a wealth of knowledge available to you on this channel so please subscribe hit that subscribe button and i love you guys that have joined this family so far i am so grateful for you guys like i mean like <laughs> my channel so if you're new here my name is Deacon aka a D Coco aka Queen of DIYs so if you want to win my heart stick with Queen of DIYs <laughs> so before we get into the video remember that I film two videos every week which is um, skincare content for weekdays like this and then um, entertainment content like lifestyle content for weekends so yeah definitely keep that in mind if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel now so today I'm filming a much requested video for you guys and and that would be the tutorial for this amazing face cream that I use and I'm sorry I popped up to you guys with makeup on my face if that's a problem but the thing is my skin underneath the makeup is perfect I mean <laughs> you guys I've made a lot of body butters and body oils for you guys on this channel so you guys have been requesting for something specifically for the face so I decided to definitely film this one next for you guys this is a carrot and kojic acid um, face cream so it's sort of a lightening and brightening face cream so it's one of the formulas that I really love it's a simple face cream for all skin types not greasy nothing sticky hence why I kept it so simple i'm definitely going to hook you guys up with like more face cream formulas it's going to get complex as time goes on but this is like a very simple and basic one let me show you first of all it smells amazing and second of all it looks amazing focus 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 i don't know if you guys can see but yeah that's it also before we jump into the video i want to say thank you to tina tina is always listing out the ingredients that i mentioned in the video and then giving me the opportunity to pin it in the comment section so you guys can easily assess like the ingredients so thank you so much tina i hope you see this video on time it's not like i'm using you but i hope you see this video on time and then you do the same and i'll pin the comments as well you, you make my life so easy i love you thank you so much you guys always ask me for the ingredient listing after i've listed it on the video and i mean it's like really hectic to like do all those things and there's a lot of things i'm doing at the moment or at the time so like some things keep my head or i might not even have the time to do that so tina you make my life really easy i love you so much thank you so much and please do same for this video <laughs> so yeah without further ado let me stop rambling because i get so excited whenever i'm filming and i get to talk a lot <laughs> but yeah let me stop rambling and let's go over to the workspace let me show you how this is done so first for this recipe let's go into the ingredients listing we need two medium-sized carrots and um, this is for the skin lightening and brightening properties and also we need one large aloe vera leaf in this recipe as well for its moisturizing properties would also need 10 grams of kojic acid in this recipe and also we'll need 30 grams of shea butter organic shea butter and also we would need 20 grams of cocoa butter which is optional and also we are going to need 20 grams of e-wax for this recipe and also 4 grams of vitamin E oil and also we are going to need about 40 grams of this carrot and papaya oil we earlier did and also 40 grams of this pineapple and carrot oil that we did and also we need glycerin and in this recipe we're just going to use about five grams and we also need about four grams of essential oil so i'm using carrot oil and um, lemon oil and would also need a storage container and i like to use brown amber jars for this and also we're going to need about um, three grams of preservative so now i'm just showing you guys from another clip how i prepare my active ingredient with the aloe vera and um, carrots so first i'm going to peel up the aloe vera and get the um, inner part of the aloe vera which is the transparent gel that is what you want to use for this you're, you're supposed to take off the whole um, green leaf part and get just the white transparent gel so yeah aloe vera is a little bit tricky to work with so make sure you're careful because it can get slippery and you can have like 
occupational hazards <laughs> so yeah um, also chop up your carrots into tiny chunks not so tiny chunks and then once you're done transfer that into a blender this is how we are going to get our or part of our liquid content or our water content for this formula so we don't want to use all round water we want to use um, water and also carrot and aloe vera juice so yeah after blending that into a puree you're going to use a cheesecloth or a pantyhose or wee cap like I'm using here and then um, transfer that into a jar and squeeze out what you want from this is the juice make sure to squeeze carefully and not have any particles inside you want just the juice so this all together is going to give us about um, the the measurements for this um, formula I'm going to use about 60 grams of this um, aloe vera and carrot juice So I'm just showing you guys how to prepare this all right that's the first step so yeah now that you have your juice and all your other ingredients laid out your oils your butter your wax and your kojic acid and yeah so next I'm just going to pour in all my oils now I'm doing the oil phase so I'm going to um, work with all my oils first I'm going to pour in my carrots and papaya oil my pineapple and carrot oil you can use almond oil and um, maybe sunflower oil if you don't have the time to do this other one I just want the um, oil to be as rich as possible or the butter the face cream to be as rich as possible that's why I'm using these oils that we've already prepared on this channel next I'm pouring in my e-wax and my butters everything oily I'm just pouring it in here I'm going to melt all of them together so this is called the oil phase so you work with the oil and the water differently so now i'm just going to uh, melt this up i'm going to melt it in the microwave for a few seconds and then now to my water i'm adding my carrot and aloe vera juice into about 70 grams of water so all together i have about 130 grams of um, water content in this formula so I'm going to also put that up in the microwave and warm it up a bit. So now I'm working with my kojic acid and with my um, 10 grams of kojic acid, I'm going to add about 4 tablespoons of warm water. Please, warm water, not hot water. If not, it's going to mess with the um, kojic acid and ruin its um, potency. So now that our oils and butters are melted together and warmed up, our water is also or our water content is also warmed up i'm going to put that in together and then with my hand blender i'm going to quickly blend that up to mix it up properly so i'm just making sure to blend until everything combines together properly which is very very important and as time goes on you're going to see some air bubbles don't worry about that as you notice i do not add um all those other things like zatan gum or all those other thickeners because i don't want this face cream to be too thick i want it to be just perfect for all skin types hence why we are using just e-wax in this formula so yeah we are not um trying to get the formula to be too thick we just want something that um can go for all skin type so after mixing it up for a while and then allowing it to cool down a bit it is important you allow it to cool down a bit before adding your kojic acid kojic acid will definitely be ruined in hot water so you don't want it to be hot when you're adding kojic acid about um i think i'm going to leave it in the description box i want to be i want to make sure i'm sure about what i'm saying so um i'm also adding my um, vitamin E oil which is um, 3 grams of vitamin E oil and also my essential oils at this point when the products or when the mixture is a little bit cool you do not want to add all these things if you don't want to ruin the potency when the mixture is hot it is very important that you don't so I'm also adding my lemon essential oil and my carrot oil at this point 
and then also my glycerin at this point glycerin is also a humectant that is good for the skin for moisturizing properties so yeah i'm sorry if this is a lot but um i have to talk as it goes on but i hope you get what i am saying so at this point i'm also adding my preservative and the whole um product mixture gave me 300 grams so i added three grams of preservative so the whole product is 300 grams with three grams of preservative so you add about one percent of the entire um measurement of your product so yes I added three grams of preservative to this so I'm just going to blend that up again please be reminded that you add your later ingredients when your mixture is cooled down a bit please if you don't if you don't want to ruin the potency of all these ingredients add it when your mixture has cooled down a bit not when it is hot so I'm just mixing that up to make sure that everything blends in together and then I'm going to leave it to um, cool down a bit more and then as you can see it has turned into a cream like lotion um, formula or consistency so yeah this is what we are looking to get and like I said forget about the air bubbles and then now I am going to transfer my cream my now face cream into a storage jar as you can see it still has air bubbles but don't worry that's because we did not add other thickeners it's definitely going to um what's it called it's going to the air bubbles are going to leave soon <laughs> so yeah now we have our potent face cream you guys have been asking for your face cream here it is very nice formula good for all skin type would fight um hyperpigmentation spots and all that so yeah voila so yeah guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it. if you're going to try out this um formula let me know in the comment section if you try it out and you loved it please also let me know in the comment section don't forget to subscribe for more videos i have a lot of content coming up for you guys so please 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 definitely subscribe thank you so much if you already subscribed and as always i wish you perfect skin and i will see you in my next one Mwah.